Hey, welcome to my show. And today what we have is a new steam main that we have just installed, or just about to finish up on. We got our first takeoff here. Um, this should be pitching down this way. And it's doing pretty well, more than enough. Here's your first takeoff. And it's a one inch pipe, eventually should be insulated, but take care of that when we can. We have another piece here, which is actually two by 42 inches. A little harder to obtain. This is really nice because it allows us to, in, this is a fixed point in space. It was cast iron, we cracked it off. Now we have a 42 inch piece here, and then we have a union and then a nipple, which comes in half inch increments. So we can essentially dial this in to the length we want to make this turn. And again, the same pattern is repeated we have an oddball piece that has to go here. We can either cut and thread exactly to length or make it up using shorter pieces and a steel merchant coupling, which uh, has in this size has straight threads. And we can dial this dimension in. Again, we're pitching down. Or, and that was part of the problem with the other main. In fact, that was the major problem with the other main and is that it was going up and down, had water pockets and people would come along and simply cut out pieces and put in dresser couplings and not really care about the continual pitch. This must continuously pitch down. We have this piece here, which is um, a 54 inch length. This is a, definitely a custom cut. And then we allow, excuse me, 50, yeah, 54 inches. And then we allow the, um, nipple to be put in there to make up so we don't have to do a whole lot of cutting and threading on site. And again, we cracked off the existing 45, brought into a T here. And again, another, this is another 54 inch or four and a half foot piece of pipe, which then of course is pitching in this direction. There's our union and then short nipple to dial in the union allows for dialing in of threads so we can within a quarter of an inch get what we want. Just do regular coupling. And then we have a 10 foot piece going to the end. Let's see if I can, it comes through here. And this is where the existing probably the last of the existing piping. Now we had this, uh, Frank had drilled this out and put a, a vent here. He had another fitting here, which he had drilled out and put a, another vent. But in this particular, this particular case, we cracked that off. This is existing pipe. And this is our new T. We're putting a vent stalk there Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Pardon me, folks. Thank you for your patience. There we are, and a Gorton number one, and a Gorton C is in Charlie. Um, the idea being that this will allow the steam to get to this portion at the same time as the other, or we're gonna call that the South Main. So this is the North Main, and uh, the steam should arrive at this point at about the same time as the other point, and then the radiators uh, takeoffs, which are counterflow, can then be um, get their steam at about the same time. That's how we balance the system. So here's our drip. It's a dry return. So we've got a couple of street L's, uh, the last one being stainless where we then thread in our copper, and the copper then is pitching very slightly downward to allow for the water to return, and it back to the boiler. Okay, now here we go. 
So this is parallel flow where the steam, the air, and the water are moving in that direction towards the end where the water is taken off and sent back to the boiler through a dry return, which then turns into a wet return. And this is where we tie into the boiler. It now has to be, because we're really tight up against the ceiling here, uh, we're, now it has to be counter flow, unfortunately. We haven't, we've got a piece coming, which is seven and a half inches, which will go into there and allow us to tie into the boiler. Uh, yeah, so we're not able to uh, repipe this boiler on this cycle uh, this time uh, due to lack of funds. So we're going to have to deal with this nonsense. Uh, we didn't put this in, obviously, but this is the kind of thing we have to deal with all the time. Uh, the boiler uh, is obviously not put in right. There should be two takeoffs, but plugs are cheap. So there's only one takeoff. So all the steam that's generated by this fairly large boiler has to go through this one two inch pipe. And uh, the, some of the steam is, uh, some of the water is gonna have to come back down the same pipe here on the southern main, which is not, we're not gonna get into. Uh, any water that arrives here will then be dripped off, which is, I wish they'd done that on the other side, but they didn't. There's the relatively short wet return, and for lack of a better term, Hartford Loop, and that's where the water is fed. Uh, at least they installed a VXT so they can find out how much water they were losing. Um, and there is the where the drip is, the new drip from the new main that we just put in there. We've uh, installed a, one of our full port purge valves there for draining and flushing the boiler, which, and then we've got just a regular drain there. You only got a really short, main, uh, short wet return, so you don't need a fancy drain there. This thing here is just to tap that off to get rid of the sludge and that tea that's probably gonna clog very quickly. And there's a takeoff for the skim. We didn't install that. I'm gonna open that up and see what's behind there. Hopefully not have too much junk. Uh, so, I think the main's gonna work better even with this egregiously awful near boiler piping and uh, we'll see how it goes. Folks, thank you very much. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, talk to you later.